Welcome back, folks, for part two of the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross updates for April 6th, 2017. On today, April 7th, 2017. Yeah, this video is not even that long. I should have made it one part. Today, we'll be covering the launch campaigns and events for this month. Let's begin. All campaign periods will last until April 25th at 11.59 PT. To start off, the Daily Sid Medal Challenge will be available to all players, giving them the chance to earn up to 60 Sid Medals if they started yesterday. You can find these quests on the Special Quests page. More importantly, however, is the special campaign that lowers all costs of every quest and raid to 0 AP. This will allow players who have been gone for the past few months to catch up on story and grind for EXP and Evolve medals. The final campaign has reduced the grind by having all story quests give triple the amount of Lux per mission. These serve as a great way to catch newcomers up to speed and give people like me who have been gone away for some time to hop back on the hype train and stay up to date. In case you haven't started up the game yet, a set of seven special Soren Roxas medals were given to all players who pre-registered for the game, on top of 6,000 total jewels, serving as a great way to kickstart their medal collection through new deals. Moving on to these, three new ones have been added. The single target attack medals, the all target attack medals, and the buffer and utility medals set out to give beginners an easy set to grab and use, aiding those who may need a more balanced deck. One cool thing about these decks is that they are permanently there, so until this game dies, five deals will always be available to purchase. On top of this, the Anniversary Metal Carnival is available to draw from, and within five draws or roughly $75, you will receive a limited edition Illustrated Cage 2 Kyrie Metal. Yay! This deal also includes a Tier 5 Illustrated Cage 2 Sora Metal, and by obtaining Kyrie or Sora before April 25th, you will receive the incredibly powerful Key Art 5, which raises your strength by three tiers for one turn. By obtaining both illustrated medals, you can get two Key Art 5s with three guild slots filled each. If spending more on a medal than every Kingdom Hearts game combined is too much for you, you can purchase the flashy party avatar sets for 2,500 jewels each, or roughly $17. Each board contains an elusive speed gem, as well as an attack B2 and AP plus and Lux plus combination skill, as well as a special attack gauge 1 and attack boost 3 max. As for the final piece of news for the day, the first anniversary quests are now up, going on until May 3rd. Quests 1 through 15 are available right now, with the remaining 15 starting on April 20th. By completing every mission, players can earn up to 2,000 jewels. With that said though, it looks like everything about the Union Cross launch has been covered, meaning my work here is done. For now. I know I was gone for quite some time, and all I can do is apologize and thank you guys for the support you've given me upon returning. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and until we meet again.